this video, let's talk about how we can manipulate how labels scale on our civil objects. So when you're designing, working your design drawing, you likely, if you have annotative objects, are working on a larger scale so that you can see these. So in my case, I'm at a 50 scale so I can see my stationing, which is annotative. I can see my profiles, which is annotative. But if I come over here to my assemblies, these labels are massive and they're hard to see. And they are all set to annotate. So if I didn't know any better, I'd have to switch this to 1 to 10 and keep working, do my thing. I'm down here, rebuild my corridor, and I go to look, and everything is tiny. And it's just annoying. You have to go back and forth. Well, there is a way to create a style in your labels that will keep these from scaling up. And it's not hard at all. So a quick view uh, of what we've got here. So this is simply right now is set to the CDG cross sections. To give you what we're looking for, if I change it to my assembly code set, notice how those got smaller. And if I change my scale, they do not change. So let's go in and look at the one that is wrong first. So let's change it back to cross sections. And we're using the cross section code set. So I'll come over here to my code sets. I go to the cross section code set, my points, and now see that I am using a label style called offset and elevation. I'll click this and I will uh, click this to edit it. And these are hard coded text heights of 0 0.08 and they are set to be annotative. So it was a 0 0.08 size and it scales up. Let's look at the other one. So if we go to assembly and do the same thing, notice that we have a different style here called view edit, no scale. Look at it a little closer and you'll notice that it says a weird 0 0.08 lock. How did I get words and a text height? Well, these are expressions. Let me escape out. So over here under, multi, under general and multipurpose styles, you have your label styles for all of your appointed things. And each one of these has a section called expressions at it. And you can make expressions of different things. So an example of this 0.08 that we were looking at, if I right click it and say edit, you can use this equation to put it in your expression. It's going to say 0.08 times 10 divided by the drawing scale, which equates to it being a fixed size. So no matter what, it was just going to keep it at a fixed size is what that is. So you can create an expression by right clicking and saying new. No. Before I do that, let's copy that and keep me from having to cut paste uh, type it in. We're going to say new. And we're going to give it a name and that's uh, I've got everything else is point point oh nine. So point oh nine lock. I'll come down to my expression. I'm going to paste what I put in there. You can type it in. If this, this see the squiggly brackets, that is a variable that you're able to assign from here. Or from here, you can pull it around and see different fancy uh, equations. So that drawing conversion, if you're doing it from scratch, we're going to come over and put 0 0.09 times 10 divided by, and I'll click this calculator icon and say drawing scale conversion, and hit OK. So now we've got a 0 0.09 lock. Let's go in here and fix this code set. So let's go back to our code set. Let's create, or let's go to, and it's on cross sections, so we'll go to cross sections. And we're going to go to offset elevation label style. We're going to make a, we're going to change it to the view no edit, just so I don't have to recreate everything, but I'm going to copy it, give it a name. View no edit 0 0.09, why not? And in here under my layout, I can change each one of my things to that new expression. You can see what it's going to do. 
and we are rocking and rolling. So we'll hit OK and hit OK. And we'll change each one of these to that real fast. Whoops. I think that's oh, one more here. And we're going to hit OK. And you can see that I sized it down. This crown's a little bit special. We'll worry about that in a second. I must have missed one. But now if I scale it up and down, these do not change. So a way of using expressions to control your labels so that you don't have to worry about that changing scales. And you can apply this to your profiles as well if you wanted to lock them in, make you a style for your profile labels. You can uh, use the same expression in a different location. And those wouldn't scale up as well if you didn't want to. Because profiles, you don't usually, when you're in your design view, you want it locked. You do want them to scale up and down when you start cutting your sheets. But uh, that's it for this video. Real quick, letting you see how to use expressions on a way to manipulate how you can do levels. There's other ways you can do it. And I'm interested if you know any better ways or any other things that expressions can be handy for in changing labels. Leave it in the contents or in the comments, excuse me. And that's it for this video. Please like it if you like the video and feel free to subscribe.